today's workout is all about the lower body. We're really going to focus on it. Three exercises for the lower body, so you may or may not want to repeat. We're going to do squats, major muscles. We're going to do rear lunges, and then I've got a prop that you may want to invest in. You can find this at flipping 50 forward slash resources, and 50 is all spelled out. But these little Versa bands, and I love green, so it's not beginning, it's not advanced, but it allows full range of motion, and you can sidestep still and feel the work. We're really going to target the side glutes. They don't get enough exercise, so we're going to save it to last, and I will show you how to put that on. But we are going to start our squats, and I'm going to do body weight. We're going again to 20 repetitions. Rear lunges, we'll do 20 on one side and then 20 on the other as opposed to alternating. So if you want to wait, you could do this with a weighted vest. All exercises could be done with a weighted vest, which is excellent for bone density. You could be holding a weight right up here at your chest, not on you, but here. And that's your call. So if you're new to it, body weight. Let's try it. Heels are wide. I'm doing what I call a plie squat. So a normal squat would be parallel or slightly wider than hip width apart. I'm going out and I'm turning out. So what I'm going to do is come down. What I want you to do is be in this position with me. Don't bend over. So the creases happen at your hips, your knees, and your ankles. The back is tall. The weight's on your heels. And if it's not, put your feet a little wider apart and then wiggle your toes inside of your shoe. That ensures you're working the glutes, you're not putting stress on the knees. Make sure that your feet are turned out, but only as far as your knees can track right over your toes. From this position, we're going to come up, and here we go. So it's one, and push. Two, it's a power up, but slower on the way down. And three, and down, and up. Good. And five and six, and I want you to keep squeezing, seven. Keep thinking about drawing those heels together, eight, and nine, and 10, and those hands can go on your hips, they can go up over here, so you're a little bit more aware of your core this way. Nice job. And up, good, we're gonna call this 13. And 14, you have to give me a little counting grace. 15, squeeze those glutes, 17. 18, 19, 20. Now come down, hold on with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. That's it. And come up. Shake those legs out. Now, as I go on to do rear lunges, I'm also going to do just body weight. So again, if you have the weighted vest on with 10 or 20 pounds, you're good to go when you're loading your spine a little bit more. So you're gonna see me step all one leg back, and then you're into touch, or if you're good with balance, you're gonna go right here. So here we go. And up. And here's two on the focal point. Three, I'm not ignoring you, but I gotta keep my balance. And five, go back slowly. Six, the weight's in the front heel here all the time. Seven, chin and chest up. Eight, and nine. And if you can watch yourself in a side mirror. Ten, make sure that your knee is over the toe, but behind it or over it, not out in front of it. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Nice job. Should have felt it over here on that working leg right there. You're going to see it differently on this side. Focal point, head up, directly in front of you. So it's back here soft and then in. And if you have your fingertips on the back of a chair or on a wall, that's not going to hurt anything. So I want you to think about pushing this heel down, squeeze through the glute, come all the way to standing, because that's where you work, right under here. And five, and six. This is great core work as well. Seven, 
and eight. Land as lightly as you can. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Five to go. Sixteen. Seventeen. 18, 19, and 20. Beautiful. All right. Now for the band. Now you haven't got the band right now. I recommend just doing side step anyway and get into the thought of moving what we call laterally because we don't do that enough. In child's play, we did it so much. And now we don't. My best recommendation for anyone above the knees. Eventually, maybe able to put it at your ankles and maybe eventually around your feet. But right now, save a spot for your knees while still giving you the work here. So what I do want you to do though is not be upright. I'm gonna have you sit so you're gonna squat. And here we go. We're gonna go over and together without wiggling. Two, okay, three, and four, if you can make it, and if I'm away from the camera, I'm coming back. Good. So three. And four. And again, one. And two. And three. And four. And together. And the trick here is that both legs are working. So your lead leg and your trail leg, both on fire. Over, stay low, put your weight on your heels. Weight on your heels, check in with me. Don't go away if you're thinking about your grocery list, come back to me. I'm over, oops, watch the carpet. <laughs> and over, and we've got one more. And yes, you should be feeling it. I know you are, so here we go. The muscles are fatiguing. This is when the best overload happens. Just keep the form, if you can't, then you probably lost it, but you're okay. Just to stop. You got two steps if you're still with me. Nice job, and relax, good. Small but effective, right? Now, if that's it, time-wise, that's all you've got today, or energy-wise, you're feeling like, that's good, I'm good, you can stop, or you can keep going right into the next section. 